Welcome to 21st Sports Recap and Reaction for the Green Bay Packers at the San Francisco 49ers in their Week 4 matchup played October 4th, 2015. We're going to go over every possession and we're going to go over the stats and we're going to give our breakdown and analysis. So starting off, the Packers got the ball first. They started on their own 20-yard line. And they marched down the field. Is in 12 plays. They went all the way down, and they got to the 9-yard line, and Aaron Rodgers hit the tight end Rodgers for a 9-yard touchdown pass. And with the extra point by Crosby, it was 7 to nothing Green Bay over San Francisco with about 9 minutes still left to play in the first quarter. So now the Niners would get the ball. They start off on their own 20, and they would move it 20 yards, but they would end up having to punt on 4th and 2 from their own 40. So they punted the ball to the Packers with a little less than 7 minutes still left in the first. Green Bay took over on their own 15, and they would move the ball up to their own 37, but on 4th and 9, they would end up having to punt the ball. So now the Niners would take over with about two and a half minutes still left in the first to head on their own 21. They moved it out to the 34, but they would end up punting on fourth and nine. So now the Packers would take back over with about a half a minute left in the first quarter. They brought the first quarter to a close. They start off the second quarter with the ball, but on this possession they went three and out, and they would end up punting from the San Francisco 47. So now the Niners would take over with still about 14 minutes left in the second quarter. They had it on their own 10 yard line, but they would go three and out, and they ended up punting the ball from their own 19. So now the Packers had the ball on their own 12, and they would go three and out, and they punted from their own 21, with about 12 minutes left to play when they got the ball. It was about 11 minutes left to play before halftime when they punted it. So now the Niners would take over on their own 28 after the punt, and they would move the ball downfield. They had a big play as Kaepernick hit Patton for a 40-yard reception that brought the ball from the 27 of San Francisco to the 33 of Green Bay. They continued to move it. They got it down to the five-yard line, but on first and goal from the five, Kaepernick was sacked by Perry for a 10-yard loss. And then on second down, Second and 15, well, second and goal from the 15. He was sacked for the second straight play, this time by Elliott. So now it's third and goal from the 22. And then they picked up seven yards. But there was a fumble on the play. They did recover it. And so Phil Dawson came out to attempt a 33 yard field goal. It was up, it was good. And that put the first points on the scoreboard for the Niners with the score 7 to 3 with Green Bay in the lead by four, with about four and a half minutes left before halftime. So now the Packers would take over after the kickoff on their own 20, and they ended up actually faced with a second and 17 after a penalty, but Rodgers hit James Jones for a 36-yard reception that brought the ball out to the 49. They would end up bringing the game to the two-minute warning in San Francisco territory, and they would end up getting into the red zone. But on third and 10 from the 17, Rodgers was sacked by Brooks for a nine yard loss. So out came Mason Crosby to attempt a 44 yard field goal. It was no good wide left, and that brought the first half to a close. So seven to three at halftime. And to start off the third quarter, the Niners would get the ball first. They started off on their own 20 yard line and they would end up punting the ball from their own 34. So they punted the ball, and now the Packers would take over on their own 39 with less than 12 minutes still left in the third. And they would end up moving the ball into San Francisco territory. And on third and seven from the San Francisco 46, Rodgers hit James Jones for a 38-yard reception. That brought the ball to the eight-yard line. First and goal from the eight, but they got a holding penalty that moved them back to the 18. And then on second and 18, Rodgers ended up running the ball. It almost looked like he got into the end zone, but he got all the way to the one yard line with a 17 yard scramble. As Rodgers was very nimble on his feet throughout this game, as he was feeling the pressure from the Niners defense, but he was getting out of the pocket and moving around and making things happen. But that set up a one yard touchdown run 
by John Kuhn. He punched it in from a yard out with the extra point by Crosby. It was 14-3. Green Bay over San Francisco as they extended their lead to 11 with seven minutes still left to play in the third quarter. So now the Niners would take over on their own 20 and they would end up going three and out on this possession. Kaepernick was sacked on third and four by Clay Matthews, who dropped him for an eight-yard loss. So they're punting from their own 18. The Packers would then take over with about five and a half minutes still left in the third in San Francisco territory near midfield at the 48. They would bring the ball into the red zone, but their drive stalled on fourth and seven from the 13. They brought out Mason Crosby to attempt a 31-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And it was now 17 to 3 as Green Bay extended their lead over San Francisco to 14 points. So now the Niners would take over with less than a minute still left in the third quarter on their own 12 after the kickoff. And they would bring the third quarter to a close. They opened up the fourth quarter, having picked up a first down on the final play of the third quarter with a 7 yard catch by Smith. And they opened up the fourth, but they would end up having to punt the ball after Kaepernick gets sacked on second down by Perry. And then he ended up picking up seven on a scramble. But on fourth and six from the 26, they brought out the punting unit. So the Packers would take over on their own 23 with about 13 minutes left before the end of the game, up by two touchdowns. But they would end up punting after Rodgers was sacked on a third and nine from the Green Bay 48 by Lynch. So now the Niners would take over on their own 33, but on third and 16 from the 27, after Kaepernick had been sacked by Julius Peppers on second down, Kaepernick then threw an interception as Sam Shields picked off Kaepernick, and now the Packers had the ball on their own 24 with about eight minutes left to play. They went three and out on the possession after Rodgers was sacked again by Lynch, and so now the Niners would take over on their own 33 with six minutes left. A couple incomplete passes brought up third down. Then Kaepernick hit Smith for a 47-yard reception that brought the ball to the red zone at the Green Bay 20. But then they ended up picking up five yards, and a couple of incomplete passes would bring up fourth down, fourth and five from the 15. Kaepernick was then sacked by Neal, forcing the Niners to turn the ball over on downs. So a huge sack by Neal there. Now the Packers took over on their own 23 with four and a half minutes left to play. They started pounding the ball with Eddie Lacy and with Starks. They brought the game to the two-minute warning. San Francisco would end up having to burn their final timeout after a four-yard run by Starks after the two-minute warning. They just kept feeding Starks the ball. They did take a delay a game penalty on fourth down, and so on fourth and one became fourth and six, and they punted the ball with just... 19 seconds left to play in this game, up by two touchdowns. San Francisco would get the ball one last time. An incomplete pass on an eight-yard pass brought the game to a close. So the Packers hold on to win 17-3, to and the Packers remain undefeated as they're 4-0 on the season. The Niners are 1-3, and in this game, Aaron Rodgers was 22 for 32, 224 passing yards, and a touchdown. He also had three carries for 33 yards, giving him a total of 257 yards in this game. Colin Kaepernick was 13 to 25 with 160 passing yards, no touchdowns, and one interception. He had 10 carries for 57 yards, giving him 217 total yards on the game. Eddie Lacy had 18 carries for 90 yards in this game. He also had one reception for three yards, giving 93 total yards. And Carlos Hyde had eight carries for 20 yards. He had uh, one reception for two yards, so he had 22 total yards in this game. James Jones had five receptions for 98 yards for the Packers. Richard Rodgers had five receptions for 45 yards and a touchdown. Randall Cobb had five receptions for 44 yards. Torrey Smith for the Niners had two receptions for 54 yards, and Quentin Patton had two receptions for 53 yards. And Phil Dawson was one for one on the field goals. He did not have an extra point. Crosby one for two on the field goals, two for two on the extra points. And on the defense, the leading tackler in the game was Ha Ha Clinton Dix 
for the Packers with seven tackles. Varro Bowman had seven tackles for the Niners. And for the Packers, Thomas had a forced fumble. Clay Matthews had a sack. Julius Peppers had a sack. Perry had two sacks. Elliott had a sack. Mike Neal had a sack as well. And Sam Shields had an interception. And for the Niners, Lynch had two sacks. Brooks had a sack. We really have first downs for the Packers. They had 18 first downs in this game. The Niners had just eight first downs as they had the least first downs out of any team this week. We look at third downs. The Packers were 5 for 15, converting 33% of their third downs, but they did go for it twice on fourth down, and both times they converted those fourth downs. The Niners were 4 for 13 on third downs, just 30% conversion rate. They went for it once on fourth down, and they did not convert. They turned it over on downs. Total net yards, 362 for the Packers, just 196 for the Niners. Net rushing yards, 162 for Green Bay, 77 for San Francisco. Net passing yards, 200 for the Packers. Aaron Rodgers was sacked three times for a total of 24 yards lost. And net passing yards for the Niners, 119, as Kaepernick was sacked six times by the Packers defense for a total of 41 lost yards from those sacks. And neither team lost a fumble, although the Niners did fumble it three times. They did recover all three times. And we'll look at the red zone. The Packers were 2 for 4, 50% in the red zone. The Niners 0 for 2. And if you can't convert in the red zone, you're probably not going to win. Will you time of possession, 36 minutes, 34 seconds for the Packers. Just 23 minutes and 26 seconds for the Niners. So the Packers, you know, they play pretty solid here. This is a real defensive battle. The Niners actually have a really good defense, and they gave the Packers, you know, a tough game. But Green Bay, one of the best teams, if not the best team, Definitely in the NFC, it's looking that way for sure, 4-0. and And Rodgers is playing at just such a high level. The way he was moving around in the pocket, scrambling to avoid the rush, extending the plays, making things happen, very accurate. Did a good job of protecting the ball, as always. Not necessarily a lot of yards, but he just did a really excellent job, especially against such a solid defense in San Francisco there. Of course, Eddie Lacy had a really good game as well as things were going pretty good on the ground. And they were committed to the run. They had a very good balanced attack as they do on that offense. And, um, you know, their defense came up huge in this game. Only the one turnover, but the six sacks, they were putting a lot of pressure on Colin Kaepernick, not allowing him to get anything going through the air. They shut down Carlos Hyde, and Kaepernick got a few yards on the ground, but if Kaepernick's the leading rusher, then, you know, the Packers did a good job shutting down the Niners' running game, which is the strength of the Niners' offense. So I thought it was a really excellent performance by the Packers' defense, especially on the road. As you know, it's always tough to have a defense travel, and the Packers' defense showed up, and they played an excellent game. And Rodgers did what he had to do to get the job done, and that's what he does. And that's why he's one of the best, if not the best, arguably, in the game playing right now. As he's definitely in his prime. So I thought it was a really good game by the Packers. Like the Niners just, you know, they, they're they too predictable on offense. And as good as their defense is, they can't win the game's form. They said the Packers, very well-rounded team all around. And this is just a knockdown, drag them out slugfest right here between two really tough teams, especially down in the trenches. Like I said, the Niners got a tough defense, and it was interesting to watch. And Rodgers, like I said, even though he didn't have necessarily the big numbers, just the things he was doing in this game, like I said, play in, play out, he really did a good job of managing the game and did a good job, like I said, of avoiding that rush they did get to him three times but he was under constant pressure and he was doing a really good job like I said extending those plays 
making things happen. And Eddie Lacy was doing a good job of punishing that really tough, brutal defense there. So the Packers looked really good on the road. They remain undefeated and in first place there in the NFC North. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It's greatly appreciated. I hope you're having a good day and had a great weekend and enjoyed all the sports.